So I did go to Safeway and I did go to Costco. Hello everyone, it is grocery haul day. Well, the first one for this week. <laughs> uh, first, we're gonna start with Costco. Actually, no, first we're gonna start with Safeway because it's smaller and then we're gonna start with Costco. So I did go to Safeway and I did go to Costco and I picked up quite a few items as I'm sure you can see behind me. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, if you're new, welcome. My name is Melissa, and if you are subscribed, thank you for being here. Let's get into this week's grocery haul and see what I got. Okay, for Safeway, um, I got some organic uh, baby arugula. Um, I really <clears throat> enjoy putting this on pizza, and I have been making um, quite a few homemade pizzas in the last few days, so I really like arugula on my pizza. Um, it's good in sandwiches, too. Uh, and we also give it to the guinea pigs. Uh, I also got a head of red leaf lettuce, which doesn't look so red. It's very dark on camera. It almost looks black, but it's, it's red. Um, I also got some parsley. Um, mostly for the guinea pigs. They haven't had it in a while and they, they enjoy parsley. We're growing the other like the flat leaf um, Italian parsley in our garden, but we don't have any of this curly leaf. Uh, we got some broccoli florets uh, for dinner tonight. I'm gonna stir fry those with some uh, red onion. And then we got two packages of these uh, beef ribeye steaks bone in. Um, it shows here that they are $8.99 a pound, but when you use their, you know, the club membership, they're um, $5.99 a pound. Um, so it was even less than than what this package uh, price says. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I also got two of these uh, teriyaki uh, Tillamook uh, smoked sausage uh, sticks. These are hard to find around here, so I was glad that they had those. And we actually got two of these uh, packages, actually. One of them is currently uh, outside on the barbecue, so it's not here anymore. But we got two of those. And that is what we got from Safeway. And my total at Safeway was uh, $67. So not too bad for two packages of ribeye and, and some vegetables. So yeah, but each each package of the ribeyes was one package is twenty five dollars and the other package is twenty eight. So that's that's pretty good. And these these ribeyes are pretty big. Um, they are they're pretty big. And then the next store we went to was Costco. And at Costco, uh, let's see, we spent. $270. So I'll start with, we got a big uh, five quarts of canola oil. I got the two pack of cantaloupe because of my last Walmart haul. Um, I showed you guys that they completely gave me a destroyed cantaloupe. The Kirkland Signature fully cooked bacon. We've been going through a lot of that in the mornings. Um, a 24 count of eggs, two packages of the white mushrooms. Uh, let's see, uh, three pounds of the uh, organic uh, bananas. These are very green, um, which is fine. Though they'll, they'll ripen up pretty quickly. My kids have been eating a lot of smoothies and using these, so that's that's good. We also got the Kirkland Beef Polish Sausage. Um, these are pretty good. These are the ones that they used to sell in the food courts that they don't seem to sell anymore. Uh, a four pack of the Bertoli Organic Olive Oil Basil and Garlic uh, for pasta, for once again the pizzas I've been making. Um, this was on sale I think for five something, five ninety nine, dollars I think. And then we also got two packages of batteries. I don't recall the price on these. If you're curious, let me know and I can get that information to you. Uh, what else? Panda crackers, two gallons of 2% milk. Mm. 
raspberry crumble cookies. These are delicious. Uh, what are these? Cherry filled Danish. And, and these are the almond filled Danish. Um, I've never had either of these, so I'm not sure how those are. Uh, these, these raspberry crumble cookies are really good. Oh, what else did we get? Did, well, that's something else we got. I almost just dropped it. So we got two um, bunches of tulips uh, for Valentine's Day. When I have my, my vase, but I need to trim them and put them in water. But I almost just knocked it over. So that's... Let's put that somewhere safer where it can't fall. I got two boxes. Two boxes of the, I guess it might help if I turn it around. The organic uh, spring mix of baby lettuce and baby greens. Some for us, some for the guinea pigs. And they finally had this in stock. The 36 uh, count of Diet Pepsi in the cans. I was so excited to see them that we picked up two of these uh, because I it's it's probably been almost a year since I've seen the cans at Costco. Like our Costco just was not carrying them. And then what else did we get? We got this 30 count of the Sun Chips. These were on sale as well. And we also picked up this 50 pound bag of jasmine rice and a 36 count of squirt and a big package of um, a big package of the boneless skinless um, chicken breast and that was that was twenty dollars and let's see we also picked up two packages two packages of bread we got the, the barbecue sesame buns for um Teriyaki chicken sandwiches and hamburgers, and then these um, hoagie rolls uh, for um, those giant uh, Kirkland Polish uh, sausages. So the last thing we picked up was this um, Cuisinart salad spinner. It's a five quart. It's here to wash our greens. My other salad spinner we probably had for like. I want to say eight years it finally broke and it was the the kind where you push down and the push part became broken and it got stuck and then when we finally got it to release we pulled it out and it was just the whole center thing was just full of mold it was so gross and so we threw it out and we got this kind where you actually like spin instead of you spin instead of push um so hopefully hopefully this will work out well Okay, let's talk about this week's um, meal plan. Uh, this week's meal plan is going to go from um, Sunday to Friday, which is uh, February 14th, February 14th through uh, February 19th. So I'm going to, I did do breakfast, lunch, and dinner this time. So on Sunday, since um, this is obviously already passed, uh, Sunday was Valentine's Day, um, we had egg, eggs, bacon, and toast for breakfast. We had leftovers for lunch or uh, whatever the kids decided they just wanted to pick on. Uh, for dinner, uh, since it was Valentine's Day, uh, we did something a little bit more special. We did a ribeye roast. Uh, I, I guess it was a, we did a prime uh, ribeye roast. Uh, king crab, uh, some sauteed mushrooms and garlic butter. Um, I made some homemade rolls. Um, my husband made some homemade potato dumplings um, to go with uh, the gravy uh, that he made from the the roast. Uh, on Monday, we did yogurt and eggs for breakfast. On lunch, we did uh, whatever leftovers there were or frozen food, um, you know, things like corn dogs or taquitos to so just put in the air fryer. Um, on Monday night, he made a homemade um, pho noodle soup um, with the leftover uh, bones from the uh, primary roast. Uh, we use those to make a delicious soup. Um, today, which is Tuesday, uh, we had veggie omelets for breakfast with some bacon and some fruit. Uh, for lunch, I made some taquitos uh, on a bed of lettuce with some cheese and some sour cream. And in the sour cream, I mixed in a little um, lime juice and I kind of thinned out the 
sour cream so um, you know you could just drizzle it over the top um, I also served that with some avocado for dinner tonight we're gonna do uh, probably some uh, grilled hamburgers I'm gonna do some potato wedges um, I might do like some bacon bits and some um, cheese on top of those and then we're gonna have those with some uh, fruit uh, obviously we'll have like lettuce and tomato and things on our hamburgers um, on Wednesday for breakfast um, I have a later start in the mornings, usually on Wednesdays, uh, with my, um, with school. So uh, for Wednesday, I'm going to do sausage, gravy, and biscuits, eggs, and some fruit. Uh, for lunch, I'm going to do a uh, vegetable soup with mini meatballs. On uh, Wednesday for dinner, my daughter's going to do a uh, chicken Alfredo uh, with fettuccine, um, and that will be a, a homemade Alfredo sauce, which she makes. It's really delicious. Um, and I might do some zoodles. I'm not sure yet. On Thursday, we're going to do um, smoothies and scrambled eggs and then whatever leftovers or, you know, once again, frozen food in the house uh, for lunch. Some uh, barbecued ribeye steak for dinner with some baked potato or rice, some corn and some salad. On Friday, we're going to do oatmeal or eggs and bacon, depends on what they want. Uh, for lunch, we're going to do um, quesadillas. I have a bunch of tortillas in the house that need to be used up uh, with some fruit. And then I am, uh, for dinner, going to make some homemade pizza, and then we'll have it with some salad, and if there's any more fruit, I'm just trying to get all of the fresh stuff used up so it doesn't go bad. But that's our meal plan for the week. Yeah, uh, when you have five people and three guinea pigs in your family, you go through a lot of food. Like, a crazy amount of food. Like, when we buy it, I'm like, wow, this is a lot of food. Who's going to eat all this food? And then at the end of the week, I'm like, wow, the refrigerator's kind of empty. Where'd all the food go? <laughs> so I'm sure that you guys, you know, with larger families understand it. I'm sure even if you don't have a larger family, like people just eat. And now that we're home all the time, just, you know, doing the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, just what happens. Um, I included a meal plan in this week's um, this week's Costco video. Um, do you guys like the meal plans? Do you want to know what we're eating? Um, so I definitely will do that. But if you're interested in the meal plans, let me know and I'll keep including them. If you're not, that's fine too. Um, you know, I mind sharing them if you guys are interested. You know, just let me know in the in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, or please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you know there's people out there who want to watch gro the grocery haul like i love grocery hauls um i think that's primarily why i started doing this let me know in the comments below whether you want the meal plan or not or if you just it doesn't make a difference to you um and i will see you guys next week in the next uh well not next week but later this week uh, for my next walmart haul bye